Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com. And today I want to talk about customizing the way your pressure sensitivity feels. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. So in your Wacom stylus, you've got a little spring. And what that spring does is it tells the computer how hard you're pressing down on the tablet. And we'll call that force. 0% force means you're barely just touching the tablet. 50% force means you're pressing halfway down. And then 100% force means you're really straining and you're squeezing that spring all the way down. So Photoshop takes this 1 to 100% scale and applies it to whatever property you want. So if it's opacity, if you're touching 100% force, you'll have 100% opacity. Likewise, 50% force will give you 50% opacity. So you have a linear relationship between the two. Well, if you're pretty new to digital art, you've probably installed your tablet and had no idea you could adjust the way that this feels. So here in the Wacom tablet properties, you can see on the pen tab, there's a thing called tip feel, which ranges from soft to firm. And you can modify this and get a very different range of pressure. The problem, though, is that even if you were to move this all the way down to soft, because you're used to, say, painting or drawing with a pencil, which usually requires very soft marks, on this force graph, the 100% force remains unchanged. And this is a problem. So even on the softest tip feel settings, you have a long extended range of soft marks you can make, but then at the very end, to get 100% force, you still have to press down really hard. And in my opinion, this is a problem. To solve this problem, I had to look beyond what Wacom offers. This is a third-party software that's a free download called the Tablet Pressure Curve Tool. And this graph should look pretty familiar. If you were to change the properties inside of Wacom's utility, you'd be moving the center point, giving it either a softer touch or a firmer touch. Either way, you're leaving the maximum pressure at 100% because that's fixed. Well, what if I don't want to press that hard? What if I want the maximum pressure to be only compressing the spring halfway? Well, you can do that with this software. So if I move the 100% force halfway down the y-axis, what that does is it tells the Wacom pen to ignore the second half of that spring. So once that spring compresses to 50% of the way, I've applied what used to be 50% pressure. That is now converted into 100% pressure. So really here, you're getting an actual soft feel. You never have to press all the way down. And this is a lot easier on my wrists. Also, if you're used to making very gentle marks with a paintbrush, this would feel a little bit more like what you're used to. If you've never changed the way the tip feel works on your pen, I'd suggest starting with the official Wacom Properties utility. It's pretty basic, and for a lot of people, it'll work fine. If you've already tried that and it's not working fine, then you might want to try out the Tablet Pressure Curve tool. Again, it's an unofficial download. Tech support will not be able to help you out with this. It's sort of a use-at-your-own-risk type of program. Although I've been using it for a number of months and it seems to work great. It doesn't, however, work for Mac, as far as I know. So if there's any Mac users out there that know of a great alternative to this download, let us know. So if any of you guys have personal stories about tuning in that tip field just right, we'd love to hear them about them in the comments. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for future videos.